This week's Nintendo Switch eShop sale, it may not have the volume we've grown accustomed to over the last few months, but it still packs a solid selection and today I have 10 games for you all covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. Now as always then I do have two winners to announce then later in the video for two $10 eShop gift cards and then I also have two more to give away to enter. Drop a comment down below and I'll be announcing those winners in next Saturday's video. Also check out Thursday's under $10 deals video where I'm giving away a copy of my time at Sandrock so I'll be linking that down below. Finally then before we do get to the deals this week if you enjoy this video subscribe each one of you makes a huge difference and right now we are so very close to our 2023 goal of 60,000 subscribers Kicking off our week then is Bright Memory Infinite Gold Edition. It's 20% off and matching the low price and this is a first person shooter and it stands out as one of the most visually stunning games on the platform. Now however, a trade off of this is its runtime. You can wrap this up in just a few hours, which might lead some to label it more as a tech demo if anything else. For me, I'd say don't let that deter you. I still had a lot of fun. The action is constant, the gunplay is satisfying and the melee combat is on point. There's even a brief driving section packed in here too. If I had one complaint, the story is weak. It makes little to no sense. Something about a storm and invaders, but yeah, really couldn't make much out of it. You can check out my full review in the pinned comments. Grand Mountain Adventure Wonderlands faced some early heat over its price given its iOS roots, but if you dive in, you'll find a legit winter sports game here waiting for you. I went deep on this for the channel, you can see my review below, but the game is packed with expanded content, think like new mountain terrains. Now what I like is this can be as relaxing or as intense as you do want it to be, and then the visuals, they're clean but really effective. So yeah, overall, packed with content that will keep you coming back, I had a lot of fun with it, and right now it's rocking 60% off a new low price. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle R is a treat for anime fight fans, while many anime games opt for, you know, an arena style of combat, this title offers a traditional side view reminiscent of classics like Virtua Fighter or Soul Calibur. The controls here are great too, you can sidestep and dodge incoming enemy blows, making the gameplay both simple enough for newcomers but also deep enough then for veterans. While I never got around to the original release and I've heard many were disappointed to not see the original story mode featured here. Instead, the game opts for a mode that reenacts 104 clashes alongside a massive roster of 51 fighters. Then the game it's 55% up, matching the low price. Thank you to Play On Worlds for sponsoring today's video with their latest release, Ebenezer and the Invisible World, a hand-drawn Metroidvania that picks up following the offense of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Now here, you'll be joining Ebenezer Scrooge and Spectral Allies on a journey to save London from the powerful Caspar Malthus and his private guard. Here, expect to traverse the shadowy streets of Victorian London, unlock the powers of unique ghosts, and face more than a few enemies on this journey. For me, the powers are the highlight. You can swing like a trapeze artist, manipulate time, even turn into a ghost to pass through objects. I also love the style of this one too, personally. It's just a really unique look to it all. And then it's backed up with this, you know, great idea, a Christmas Metroidvania. Definitely didn't see that one coming. Now, if you are ready to uncover the secrets of the Malthus family and save the city, you can check out the link in the pinned comments. Also, while you're there, check out the dedicated video I did put together for this release. Again, thanks to Play On Worlds for sponsoring today's video. And now, let's get back to today's deals. Brigandine deserves a nod for strategy fans. While my hands on time with it has been limited, it is a fan favourite and you'll no doubt see folks in the comments praising it, so I do like to highlight it whenever it comes around. Now if you are even slightly intrigued, I'd recommend diving into a comprehensive review to grasp the idea of what it actually offers. In essence though, Brigandine is a strategy simulation game where you're tasked with dominating a continent using six major powers, countless bases, knights, and more. Currently then, it's on sale with 60% off and matching its previous low price. And yeah, it's a game I genuinely wish I could spend more time with, but this is gonna be an easy one where you could spend a huge amount of hours. Batora Lost Haven offers a blend of narrative and player-driven choices intertwined with combat and puzzles. Each in-game interaction can steer you towards different outcomes, which is a design I personally 
really like to see. The story then you're stepping into the shoes of Avril, a character wrestling with the loss of her family on a quest to unearth ancient secrets. It's definitely a well done port for the most part and then it's 50% off a new low price. If I had to summarise my issues with this game it's that the game's puzzles and narrative in my opinion they just fall a little flat. At this price however I do think it is good enough to get a recommendation. Smurf's Cart was a release where I went in with tempered expectations but it surprised and I was actually impressed by how true it stayed to its iconic source material as well as boasting some genuinely creative tracks and solid gameplay. However its Achilles heel is the limited content with just 12 racers and an equal number of tracks. Once you've run through a handful of trophy races you've pretty much just seen all it has to offer. The only remaining mode I guess here would be time challenges. Really what's hurting this one is the absence of online multiplayer, it just feels like it is a missed opportunity. Now however though it's 50% off and matching the low price I do think it makes it a good choice now especially if you have the option of playing with local multiplayer. Now I'd love to see a follow up to this one but you can find my review in the pinned comments. Our first winner of the week then is going to Andre who was excited for the discount on Disco Elysium. Congrats on the win Andre, drop me an email for the code and everyone else there's a second winner coming up here shortly in the video. My pickup of the week then is the Mortal Fate and now as always I've not played this so it's not a recommendation rather maybe you'll want to join me for the ride. Actually had my eye on this one for a while and now so I'm finally going to be diving in. The game it's an adventure with a large focus on its narrative so think visual and novel sections complemented with gameplay sections. It's an adventure title though that started as a free game in 2016 and it tells the story of a character who sacrifices herself to the devil to get revenge on those who wronged her. Really looking forward to checking this one out and right now it is 50% off a new low price. Let us know in the comments if you played it already and if this was a good deal. Nightmare Reaper is up next and it's another one I've been playing recently. Full transparency though I'm still yet to complete it. This is a retro styled shooter but it's then combined with elements of looter shooters and I will give a warning here it is a roguelite with consistent progression as you'll be leveling up adding upgrades to our lead using in-game gold. I just like the huge number of options here more than anything else. 80 unique weapons, different enchantments, multiple modes, soundtracks great stuff as well and most importantly I guess is the gunplay just feels heavy and satisfying. I think genre fans should absolutely take a look especially with this new low price of 33% off. Alright so before we get to the final couple of games of the week a few Amazon physical deals for you all. Half Stella is 50% off and matching the low price that is live in all of regions. Then Mario and Rabbid Spark of Hope that's 67% off and that is also available in all of regions. Going to be starting to add this in weekly especially with Black Friday quickly approaching and if you want either of these games consider using my affiliate link in the pinned comment below as the channel it does get a small kickback. Clicking it as well should take you to your own purchase personal region. Odd World of Soulstorm gets a new low price, 70% off. Now fans of the franchise will feel right at home with its trademark tough as nails platforming, intricate locations and an emphasis on stealth to dodge the ever present enemies. You know this is a game where death is common. Admittedly then I did like the original games but I'm not a huge fan of this release. I think the pacing is off and also too often the game goes beyond challenging and it simply becomes unfair. Now, if you do want to learn more about that you can check out my review in the pinned comments. But on a positive note as well I do think it is a great looking port. The story is decent as well. We're basically investigating our brainwashed population. Our next winner then is PG Irk and thanks for the shout out 3k to 60k subscribers. We are so very close to breaking that mark here in 2023. Congrats on the win then. Drop me an email for the code and everyone else drop a comment down below for your chance in next week's video. Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle is a must buy game, just make sure you grab the Final Battle edition and not the original release because that is included here but then they're throwing in a ton of extra content as well. A regret of mine is actually not snagging a physical copy back when they were everywhere because these are now fetching hundreds of dollars. Now apart from the base game you do get all of the expansion content ranging from fresh narrative arcs, additional playable characters to brand new modes entirely. Now as for the gameplay it's a third person action adventure putting you at the forefront of humanity's fight for survival joined by familiar faces from the anime and manga. What it truly nails for me is the sensation of facing these towering hulks. 
and the freedom of sipping through the skies with your gear in tow. 50% off then is a new low price and should you own the base game already, the final battle additional content is also on sale standalone. And that's the video done, what will you be adding to the library this week? Let us know in the comments with that. A shout out to the patrons and the channel members who are going above and beyond to support Switch Corner. Helps more than you know, so thank you all so much. Then hit subscribe, join us here for reviews, deals, news and lists daily. And I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.